Hi friends. You may have already seen many DIY spot welders that actually are used for spot welding on lithium ion batteries, but those spot welders are mostly unsafe and without pulse control for effective welding. So, today I will show you how to make powerful spot welder at home, also without any IC programming. For that you need a small heatsink. And you can use IRFZ 44N MOSFETs. But IRLB4132 logic gate MOSFETs is recommended. And bend the pins of MOSFETs like this. Here I used 5 pieces of MOSFETs, and if you would like to add more, you can add as many as you want. Screw all MOSFETs with heatsink. Now let's apply little solder on pins of MOSFETs. Use thick copper wire, and connect all source pins of MOSFETs. Solder 33 ohms resistor on gate pin of every MOSFET. Connect all ends of resistors. Now it looks perfect. This is drain of all MOSFETs. This is gate of all MOSFETs through these 33 ohms resistors. To trigger the short current from source to drain, we need to feed this gate with positive signal of 10 to 15 milliseconds. For that, I designed the PCB circuit with triple 5 time IC. Download link is in video description. To order PCB you can visit jlcpcb.com. Simply click on order now. Add PCB gubber file. After upload you can see preview of your PCB. And you can change quantity and color of the PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. I actually had already ordered the PCBs with old design, and I managed to use these in this project. You can use new and compact design of this circuit, download link is in video description. Here our PCB is ready, and these are DC input wires, and this wire will be soldered with gate of MOSFETs. For easy assembly, I used a small piece of board and fixed both circuits on it. Connect this wire with MOSFETs gate. Solder PCB negative wire with source of MOSFETs. And yes, don't forget to use a protection diode between source and gate of MOSFETs. For welding probes, I used 4mm copper cable. And soldered 8mm thimbles at one end. On another end, I soldered 1.5mm copper wire pieces as welding ends, and enclosed it with heat shrink tubes. Also I made another pair of cables for battery connection. Take both positive welding and battery cables, and connect them together with a screw. Solder PCB positive directly with positive cables. Take negative battery cable, and solder with the source of MOSFETs. Now before we solder negative welding probe, we also need a two-wire cable, and solder a push button with it. And this push button we need to fix on the negative welding probe. I used heat shrink tube to fix it on its place. Solder two wires on PCB connector, marked with SW. Screw the negative welding cable with heatsink, that is already connected with drain pins of all MOSFETs. 
here is circuit diagram, download link is in video description. Now our circuit is fully complete, and it's time to test the circuit. You can use 20 to 35 AH 12 volt battery to power up the circuit. As you can see if we touch the probes there will be no current unless we press the push button. On each press of push button, probes will get short current of about 15 milliseconds, as indicated by LAB. For testing I will use this metal tweezer. You can see welding spots without any burning or short circuit. Now I will use these nickel strips, that is actually used to spot welding on lithium ion batteries. As you can see the welding spots are very strong to lift normally. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and learned something new, share the video and give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.